You're watching this video because you have a Squarespace website and you've probably tested your website through some sort of page speed test, such as PageSpeed Insights. You can see this is my website. It's got a score of 29 or maybe some sort of test like GT Metrics, and you can see the same site has a score of E. And you're watching this video because you're wondering why is Squarespace so slow? Why is Squarespace websites have a low performance score? So in this video, I'm going to explain why this is happening, and I'm going to give you a hack that you can follow, which is the most effective way to improve your Squarespace website's page speed score. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Henry Purchase. I'm the founder of SEO Space, and I made the SEO plugin for Squarespace. It's helping over 10,000 Squarespace websites rank higher up on Google. But getting straight into it, the reason that Squarespace websites are slower especially when you compare them to websites built on something like WordPress, is because Squarespace is a website builder, whereas WordPress is a CMS, a content management system. And to give you an analogy for actually what this means in reality, a CMS is a little bit like the frame of a house. Platforms like WordPress are a lot more flexible if you want to build your house or your website. It's just a frame. You can decide where the walls go. You can decide what furniture is in there what to decorate it with, etc. Whereas Squarespace, a website builder, is a lot more like a house that's already built that you can rent. The walls are already in, the furniture's there, it's already decorated, and it's ready to move in and make your home. Because so much is already in there, it's less flexible, and it's a little bit harder to make the home truly your own. And this nature about website builders makes them a little bit slower when it comes to testing them on page speed tools such as this because they've already got everything baked in in the box. So it's naturally going to be slower than something like a frame of the house where you can go really, really minimum on a platform like WordPress, which just doesn't have as much in the box. You know, you have to add loads of plugins in, loads of different tools on top. It can often be quite expensive for the maintenance. Squarespace is already there. Yes, it's a little bit slower, but because it's a website builder, it makes things much easier. You've got everything there. And this is actually a reason why you don't need to worry about the page speed so much. Because actually, when you look at this pie chart, which is a weighted list of the ranking factors that Google cares about, i.e. these are the things that Google cares about when it's ranking your website high up on Google, you can see that page speed only accounts for 3% of the weighted ranking factor list. So in terms of your website ranking on Google, Page speed only matters for 3% of everything that matters when it comes to ranking. Consistently publishing engaging content, placing keywords in the right place, getting backlinks, showing niche expertise, making sure that users engage with your website when they're on there. These are all far, far more important than page speed. And if Squarespace is the platform that you prefer in order to achieve these things on, then don't worry about the page speed. Focus on doing the other things the matter much, much more. But if you do want to improve the page speed and you want to do everything that it takes through this hack, then what I'm going to walk through now is how you can improve the page speed of different pages on your Squarespace website. And what I want you to do is head over to the Squarespace editor. And I want you to make sure that you have SEO space installed, the SEO plugin for Squarespace. When you open up SEO space on any page on your Squarespace website, it's going to give you the ability to scan that web page. And this actually works on live Squarespace website. So if I actually go to seospace.co, you can see SEO space shows up. And it also works on the Squarespace editor. And when you run a scan, SEO space is going to scan your web page and identify everything that you can do to improve your SEO and in relation to this video, improve your loading speed. So as you can see here, my score is 88. And you can see here, it's highlighted some ways that we can improve our site's SEO. Clicking on this top one here, it's saying images. And it's actually saying that below, there's images that are greater than 250 kilobytes. And this is actually one of the main ways that you can improve your Squarespace page loading speed. It's actually by compressing the images on your web page. So if we just highlight over these, it's showing the different image size. And as you can see here, there's actually one that's a thousand kilobytes. So when we click on this, SEO space is going to take us directly to that image where we can download it, go to imagecompressor.com where we can compress that image 
and then re-upload it to our Squarespace website. Now, this is actually something that you'll see quite frequently across Squarespace because Squarespace's image compression algorithm actually increases the size of your images once you upload them to Squarespace. So if you download an image, compress it, and then re-upload it to your Squarespace website, when you rescan, you might actually see that SEO space is still flagging the image to be above 250 kilobytes. That's just because Squarespace makes images bigger after you upload them. So if you want to ignore this recommendation, you can simply select on the image, manually resolve it, and SEO space will ignore it from our image compression recommendation. Now, there are some other things that you can do in order to improve your page speed score on your Squarespace website. In general, you want to make sure that you've got no broken links on your Squarespace website. And also you want to reduce the amount of custom code that you use. Unfortunately, on this web page, I do actually have a lot of custom code. Things like our pricing table have been custom coded to get the desired effect. And again, because of what I mentioned earlier, Squarespace is a website builder. So there really is a limited amount of things that you can do. However, because I've already highlighted that this is only 3% of what matters, in general, I don't recommend that you lose much sleep on it. Instead, focus on the things that are more likely to move the needle, and you're going to have a much higher chance of attracting your target customers and growing your business through SEO and Squarespace. So there you are, guys. That is an overview of why Squarespace is slow, how to fix it, and in general, why you don't really need to worry about it. Of course, if you want to get more Squarespace SEO tutorials, please subscribe to SEO Space's YouTube channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.